Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a panda collaboration with Manicured Butterfly, my friend Drew. I'm starting off with Danny Digit's Glitter Be Gone and Joy Lacquer, Moon Frost. My friend Kim Hicks sent me this. It's just so pretty. So now that my base is dry, I'm going in with my first coat of Moon Frost. It's like a grayed out purpley color. It's kind of got like a green flash to it also. And it's got an insane amount of shimmer going on in it. Tiny, tiny particles and some bigger ones. It's just so pretty. I'm going to go in with that second coat. And the formula on this one is just excellent. I didn't even make a mess making this base. I mean, look at it. It's perfect. I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I'm going to back this camera up just a hair. See if I can get it to behave. Um, you know, between getting the lighting right... Then it makes it all shiny, and then my camera has trouble focusing. So we're still a work in progress over here at Moon Baby Nails. I'm going to cap my free edge here. Seal that tip in. Look how pretty that is. You can see the green and the purple and all those shimmeries. Ugh, oh, love it. On to the stamping. We're going to be using Wistonia W115, my bunny stamper from AliExpress. My Monocle Stamper from Maniology, Beauty Scraper, and Braves Diva on the black. Now, I did a panda manicure not too long ago, so I decided to use different plates with panda images and bamboo. So, these are a little more cartoony looking, and I thought that that would be cool. Because my last one was kind of more of a traditional, typical panda mani. So, this one's going to be a little outside the box. I'm going to use China Glaze Wicked Style to fill in the panda bears with my dotting tool. And I apologize that this is so blurry. Um, I did want to show that I did do this, this step. Um, it's just not very in focus and I, I am so sorry. These little bitty images are tough. I'm going to flip that over and check it out. It's okie dokie. Now I'm using that hand salve that I got out of the Maniology box and my little brush is my barrier. And I'm just going to go ahead and fess up. I'm not too crazy about it. The CC and CC Spring 04 plate and the Own the Black stamping polish again. And Revlon. Tempting. It's not a stamping polish, but we're going to use it. My Maniology stamper and my Beauty Scraper again. So I'm going to stamp out these bamboo on three of my nails in black and then double stamp it with gold. I just thought this would look really cool. And this is some of my outside the box stuff. Every once in a while I get a little crazy over here with my color combinations. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. There we go with that tape trick. And since I've got a barrier around my nails, it's coming up really well. And I'll tell you why I didn't really like that surfer salve for this. It got on my stamper and made a mess. And I didn't like that. I didn't have that issue with the Burt's Bees. So we will keep playing with it. And here we go. We're going to do that in gold now. Like I said, this isn't a stamp and polish. And I picked this one because it's just such a light gold. I didn't want it to be just in your face pow bam gold. Just kind of like lightly add some dimension to it. There we go. Tapping it all down for those little flyaways. But I love that. I'll be using the Pro FX sticky base to get these de to make sure that these decals transfer over. I've let them dry. They are no longer tacky. And now for the tricky part of lining up a stamper that is not clear. Ta-da! Did it, did it. And here we go with another one. Digging it. Love them. Our pink and black pandas. I'm going to top it with the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. I'm almost out um, of this one. And it's starting to get stringy. I don't know if any of y'all have had that issue, but mine's getting a little sticky stringy. So there it is. And then I'm going to top it off after this dries, I'm going to top it off with some of the Posh Top Coat. Now, I will have a link for Drew's channel, Manicured Butterfly, down below. I would love for you to go check out her 
Panda Manicure. She does a lot of free hands, so I would really like y'all to go check that out. Um, she she just does such a good job, and um, and I, Drew, I'd like to thank you for inviting me to play with you again. I enjoyed it. There we go, capping that free edge with the posh, and there we go. I loved this one though. I loved the different, you know, using different colors. Just kind of going at it from a different angle. So there we go. Ta-da! So there is my manicure. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. I always love chatting with you. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.